Greetings and good day. This is Donnie with Tech Winner, and thank you so much for joining me today. Well, guys, Ring recently very quietly refreshed their solar panel fleet. Yes, I'm talking about the Ring solar panel and then the super solar panel. They have now been replaced by something a little bit newer and a whole lot better. So I really want to talk about some of those advantages and also some of the potential cost savings, even if you decide to go with something by a third party. So without any further ado, let's dive in and let's take a look. So guys, if you've been watching the channel for any amount of time, you know I've done a couple of different solar projects around my house. Yes, I've got three of my Ring devices that are connected to solar panels. My Ring stick-up cam, which yes, it's attached to a tree. Did a video last year talking about some of the maintenance you can do just to keep those solar panels clean. Make sure they're pointing in a direction that makes the most sense for the most amount of sunlight that they'll receive on any given day. Also have a Ring floodlight. Yes, it's just the floodlight, not to be confused with the Ring floodlight cam. It just has basically two lights on it. It's got a couple of these battery packs that are on it, and then I've got a solar panel attached to it that just keeps these batteries topped off on nice sunny days. I also did another video where I have a Ring spotlight cam that's out on my shed and I did a DIY project with it. I had a third party solar panel by Wasserstein that totally died on me after a year. There was no support, no warranty on that. And I decided to do something kind of out of the box there. And for $34, I put in a six watt panel that then was connected to the camera through a different adapter that I had to buy. But all in all, I paid 34 bucks. And by the way, I've been using that for 10 months and those two batteries have been staying completely topped off, totally charged. It's been awesome, zero complaints with that project. But some of you guys might not feel comfortable going with a third party solution and Ring actually has done a recent, very quiet upgrade to their solar fleet. So I wanna take a look at some of those new options that are out there. A lot of this really started with the Ring Spotlight Pro Cam and the Ring Spotlight Plus Cam that just came out. They made a change to the power adapter on the back of those. So up to this point, any of those cameras, the stick up cams, the spotlight cams that can take advantage of those ring solar panels have used a DC barrel plug on the back to be able to actually get that electricity from the solar panel. Ring has totally thrown that out the window and to the advantage of I think everyone has gone to the new USB-C standard. I know it's not new but new to Ring. You guys have been using USB-C and a lot of Android phones for years. Lots of different accessories are using USB-C. My MacBook uses USB-C. My iPad Pro uses USB-C. We can very much expect the iPhone 15s next year to also go to USB-C. It's the new standard. There's thousands of different options from cables and chargers and plugs and all the fun stuff out there that just work. So I love that Ring has moved to a universal standard for charging batteries in these cameras, in these devices. And for those of you who don't have the option of plugging in those new Ring Spotlight Pro cameras into just power and having them charged in all the time, being able to take advantage of a solar panel is a huge game changer for you. You will keep those batteries topped off based on how much sunlight you can see on any given day. So up to this point, there were really two different options that were out there from Ring branded solar panels. You had the basically the Ring solar panel for 60 bucks, and then you had the super solar panel for $100. The $60 solar panel was rated with a 2.4 watt connection. Of course, these are all, every one of these, that five VDC number that you're seeing there, that's five volts. Basically, all of your electronics, smart devices run on five volts for the most part. There's some exceptions to that role, but that's what we're going to see across the board. The metric I really want to draw your attention to by that solar power rating is that 2.4 watts. On the $100 super solar panel, the metric that you really want to pay attention to is that solar power rating of five watts. So again, just to kind of compare, I'll also put a link in the description, my DIY solar project that I did last year. The panel that I bought was for about $14, and guys, it was essentially a six watt panel for next to nothing. The downsides of that is I'm definitely at risk if this thing fails, I'm not gonna have any type of warranty. Ring always stands by their products. If you bought a Ring solar panel, I have every reason to believe if it ever failed, they would stand by it, they would replace it for you, free of charge, no questions asked. I've had great experience personally when I've dealt with Ring products that have failed in the past. So they now have two different panels that have come out that are now USB-C powered. If you were to buy one of the Ring Spotlight Pro cams in a solar panel bundle, you would actually receive their new $60 solar USB-C panel, which by the way, guys, 
has the USB-C plug on it. It also does, if you were to buy it just a la carte, that solar panel, it does come with a barrel plug, an adapter that would plug the USB-C into and then convert it into that DC barrel plug that your older cameras would need. But it's now rated at four watts, you guys. So huge upgrade over what was that basic one before. We went from 2.4 as that baseline for the same price now getting a four watt panel. They've also come out with a more economical option that they're now calling the small solar panel, which yes, it's still USB-C powered as well. And that one is rated at 1.9 watts. So a little bit less than what that $60, the older $60 option was, but still for a lower cost for 40 bucks, this is a nice economical option, especially if you don't need a, a ton of recharging, you don't have a ton of motion events, or you know you have maybe six to eight hours worth of direct sunlight a day as opposed to maybe three to four hours of direct sunlight on any given day. It would totally get the job done for you. So I like that Ring is continuing to innovate and then standardize too on the USB-C. The nice thing about that is guys, as far as as we start refreshing or upgrading cameras to these USB-C models, it also opens up many more standards for us, many more options based on that USB-C standard. And they've also come out with a bunch of accessories that I'll just highlight here for just a second. Basically, different extension cables and also some of those adapters as well. If you still had an older solar panel that you don't want to just have to throw it away, you can actually use that still with some of the, the newer connectors that are out there. So there's some options that are available to you there. And then also the other direction there as well. So if you had a USB-C connection with really honestly any solar panel that supports USB, you could have this adapter that Ring is charging 13 bucks for to connect it in. So I like that Ring is coming out with some supported options here that are totally on their page. It is their supported option. You know, again, I would expect you'd be able to get some support from them if that adapter ever failed. They do a good job of standing by their products. So guys, in summary, I like that they're moving towards the USB-C standard. I'm very encouraged about that. And if you've gotten any of these accessories, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Let me know. And thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already, I'd ask you to consider liking and subscribing and hitting that bell notification so that you're always staying up to date with new content as it's uploaded. But for now, I'm Donnie with Tech Winner, helping you make winning decisions with your tech. You guys have a great day.